This is part 1 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what is AngularJS, benefits of AngularJS, and a simple Angular example. So what is AngularJS? AngularJS is a JavaScript framework that helps us build web applications. Who developed AngularJS? Google is the company that developed AngularJS. AngularJS is an open source project, which means it can be freely used, changed, and shared by anyone. AngularJS is an excellent framework for building both single-page applications and line-of-business applications. Many companies are using Angular today, and there are many public-facing websites that are built with Angular. There's a website called madewithangular.com that has the list of some of the websites that are built using AngularJS. So here is that website, madewithangular.com, and here you can find some of the popular websites that are built with Angular. Now, the obvious question that comes to our mind is, within the market, we already have several other JavaScript frameworks that help us build web applications. So what is the benefit of using AngularJS over those JavaScript frameworks that we already have? Dependency injection. Dependency injection is something AngularJS does quite well. If you're new to the concept of dependency injection, don't worry, we'll discuss that in detail with examples in a later video. Two-way data binding. One of the most useful feature in AngularJS is the two-way data binding. The two-way data binding keeps the model and the view in sync at all times. So that means a change to the model updates the view automatically, and similarly, a change to the view updates the model. Testing. Testing is an area where Angular really shines. Angular is designed with testing in mind right from the start. Angular makes it very easy to test any of its components through both unit testing and end-to-end -end testing. So there's really no excuse for not testing any of your Angular application code. Model View Controller. With Angular, it is very easy to develop applications in a clean MVC way. All you have to do is split your application code into MVC components, that is the model, view, and the controller. The rest, that is managing those MVC components and connecting them together, is done by Angular automatically. And there are many more benefits as well, like controlling the behavior of DOM elements using directives and the flexibility that Angular filters provide. We will discuss directives, filters, modules, routes, etc. with examples in our upcoming videos in this series. To build Angular applications, we need only one script file, and that is angular.js. To get the script file, visit angularjs.org. So here is that website. On this page, you can find the download button. So when we click this download button, and now we can download the AngularJS script file. And here on this page, notice we also have a CDN link. There are several benefits of using CDN. And you can find those benefits by clicking on this question mark right here. So what are the benefits of using a CDN? We get better caching, decreased latency, and increased parallelism. We discuss these benefits in detail in part three of jQuery tutorial. So I've already downloaded the AngularJS script file. And on this website, you can also find several resources to learn Angular. So under this Learn tab, you can find videos, free courses, tutorials, frequently asked questions, etc. And under this Develop tab, you can find API reference. This is extremely useful when building Angular applications. So I've already downloaded the Angular JS script file. It's present within the scripts folder. And I have this HTML page one dot HTML page. Now, to get started with Angular, there are two simple steps. The first step is to add a reference to the Angular script. So I'm going to drag and drop this on my page within the head section. So we have a reference to the Angular script. That's the first step. And the second step is to include ng-app attribute somewhere within the HTML. So I'm going to include that within the body element. So ng-app. So the obvious next question that comes to our mind is, what is this ng-app attribute? In Angular, 
ng dash app is called a directive. There are many such directives in Angular. You can find the complete list of directives on angularjs.org. So at the moment, you know, we are on the API reference page. And within this API reference page, notice we have directive heading here. And at that, we have several directives. And within the list, we should find ng app as well. So, you know, what is this ng prefix within the directive name? It stands for Angular. The ng-app directive is a starting point of AngularJS application. Angular framework will first check for this ng-app directive somewhere in the HTML page. If ng-app directive is found, then Angular bootstraps itself and starts to manage the section of the page that has the ng-app directive. At the moment, we have included the ng-app directive within the body section. So everything within that body section will be managed by Angular. Now what we want to do is we want to compute the sum of 10 plus 20. So 10 plus 20 equals and we want to display the sum of 10 and 20. So I'm including these double curly braces here. So what are this? In Angular terms we call them binding expressions. So within the double curly braces, we can specify any Angular expression. So I am specifying 10 plus 20. So what is Angular going to do? It's going to treat that as an expression and add those numbers together. So let's save these changes and let's reload this HTML page 1.html. Look at that. 10 plus 20 equals 30. We get the result of the Angular expression that we have within the curly braces. So these double curly braces are called binding expression in Angular. Now, at the moment, if you look at this ng-app attribute, this is present at the body tag level. Now, what I'm going to do is actually move that to the div element. And I'm going to include another div element here. And let's say within this div element, we want to compute the sum of 40 plus 50. So 40 plus 50 equals, again, I'm including the binding expression, and we want to compute the sum of 40, 50. Now look at this. The ng-app attribute is present only on this development. That means Angular is going to manage only that section of the page. So that development and any children that development has got. For the rest of the page, Angular is not responsible. That means this data binding expression will not be evaluated. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to save the changes and let's go ahead and reload this page. Look at that. The binding expression that we have within the other development that doesn't have the ng-app attribute, you know, that's not evaluated. Now, let's see what's going to happen if I move this to the HTML tag level. So now, Angular is going to be responsible for all the child elements within that HTML tag. That means, you know, both these binding expressions should be evaluated now. Let's save our changes, reload this page, and look at that. We get 90 as expected. Now let's look at a few examples of valid expressions in Angular. At the moment, we're using 10 plus 20, 40 plus 50. We can use something like this as well. 1 double equals 2. Is 1 equal to 2? No, that evaluates to a Boolean false. Let's actually get rid of 10 plus 20 from there. So when we reload this, it should say false. On the other hand, 1 double equals 1. Yes, 1 is equal to 1. So in this case, it should evaluate to true. Now we can also use a plain old JavaScript object within the expression. So let's include you know, an object that has got name property. And let's say the name is David. And let's say we also have age property. And age is, let's say, 30. And from this plain old JavaScript object, I want to retrieve the name property value. I can simply do dot name from that JavaScript object. So let's save the changes. And when we reload this, it should retrieve the name property value, which is David. We can also use arrays. So let's say, we have an array here, and within the array we have, let's say, list of names like David, and we have Pam, 
and let's include another name, Sarah. So we have three names within the array and I want the last element so I can specify the index position of the last element which is 2. So in this case this should return Sarah from the array. So let's save our changes, reload this page and notice we get Sarah. So two requirements to get started with Angular, add a reference to the script file and include ng-app attribute within the HTML. Thank you for listening and have a great day.